You okay. tell him, Bill. We're supposed to be on here for 15 minutes. This idiot goes 35, okay? All he's got in six and a half years is that I misspoke, that I labeled a polk award a Peabody. He writes it in his book. He tries to make me out no, to no, be no, a No, 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 hey, no. That's shut up. No, you, you had your up. 35 minutes. Shut up. This isn't this your is show, This is what this guy Bill. does. Bill, this is you what can he tell does. Me. You can't right? tell this is what he Take does. Take control, Pat. Come on. I think, wait a minute, I think I need a whistle maybe. and a striped shirt. Sure. Yeah, yeah, not I, to be a referee. Maybe I, I went on long because I got some I laughs, him to say, Can you please control him? This guy accuses I, I, me of being a liar, ladies and gentlemen, on national television, because I misspoke and labeled a Peabody a poke. I didn't mention we won All four right. national headliners, okay? This is what this guy does. He demonizes it, all right? And then other people pick it up. Now, if it's important to you, that I misspoke and labeled a Peabody You didn't poke. just misspeak. That's fine. That's fine, okay? This is what he does. He's a vicious, and that is with a capital V, person who is I, blinded I, by ideology. And that's all I'll say about okay. everybody. Leading to folks and bringing folks into the, to their fold and voting for them, those are not racist statements. And we need to get away from that if we're going to actually analyze this like, like we want to. But I will say that I think... You know, you said yourself that some 30-something percent of under 30,000 a year voted for Romney. So I don't think, I, and I don't think those who voted for Obama are necessarily completely ruled by whatever What was the uh, most, then, what, then you have to supply, to if you're going to say I that, think, if well, you're, here, let me, Mary, wait, wait, Mary Catherine, if go. you're going to say that, if that's going to be your point of view, you have to fill in the blank. What did they vote for? I just listed eight things. Did they vote for 80 percent unemployment, 16 trillion dollar debt? What did think, they vote for? I think that large, I think that that can play a role, but I no, think no, that No, no, no. Answer my actually, question, they, Mary Catherine. They voted Under for the fact, they voted, I, I, I'm what answering did you, they, they voted for the for? fact that they didn't believe that Romney was on their side and had their back, and that is a failure of our own and of Romney's campaign, and we cannot okay. avoid right, that Okay, now entirely. we're getting, we're so getting that, someplace, and Juan, I'm going right, to ask you so the same is, question. That is part of the wait, calculation. Wait, Mary into, Catherine, wait. We're getting somewhere now. Juan, okay. you listen up. All right, so Romney doesn't have their back, as you said. Right. That's a general statement. That doesn't mean anything. What was that based feeling based on? What was the feeling based on that Romney wasn't looking out for them? I agree. The perception was that Romney wasn't looking out for him. But what was that based on, Mary Catherine? Was it a social issue or a financial issue? I think there are several parts of no, it. No, what was it? Wait, hold on. Let me let me also point out another stat here. For Asian Americans, which is one of the more highly educated and uh, affluent groups in America, that was one of the biggest turnarounds for Obama in attracting that group. He didn't offer them government dependency. He didn't offer them financial gifts. So I think simplifying it to only that hampers us. Okay, in the but future, you still haven't answered the question. So now groups. I'm going to give Juan a, because a chance. Because I think there's a larger Mary cultural Catherine, sense that Obama Mary, look, was Mary on their Catherine, side. Listen to me. When I ask you a direct question and you don't have an answer, it's best to say I don't know. Do you know, Juan? I think when he, you go back to 47 percent, I think people feel he was looking out for the top 2 percent in big corporations. What did they this vote is what Mary for? Catherine said. Okay. He wasn't looking we out for agree. them. We all agree. All three of us agree that the right. under 30,000 crew didn't believe Romney was going to help them. What did they vote for, Juan, by reelecting President Obama? What? I I think they voted for a country where they feel that as, as seniors, as veterans, as people who may be disabled, that the country moving forward, especially in terms of this fiscal cliff and economic decisions Juan, about this is budget just priorities, BS. this is like a kid in high school just BSing. Them, Bill. No. What did they what? vote for? I just Juan? told you. I just told you they voted for a government that is they feel knows their situation, understands what it means to be in their financial situation, and, and try do, and to then do get a what? Foothold. There's got to be more than understanding and no. empathy. Do what? No. I don't think there does. Move Bill. forward because if move it was forward, just about where? growing, move forward in this economy you said and this is what something i disagree well, with we you got, we got eight percent unemployment we got 16 yes. trillion dollar debt we're not moving forward juan there's we are no moving forward. no reason we're moving forward no there way are, yes and i think that most americans disagree with you and think that the economy is finally starting to go forward and in fact Based if, on you what? Just, if you Based just on if what? you don't it, if you don't invest in education, infrastructure, in the American people, and just right. give money back to the rich, then you'll go back to the days where, you know, less it's taxes, all, less listen, regulation. You're, you're Bill, basically I, both disagreeing, but you're, you're agreeing in a roundabout way, and I got to run. And for you to say that true. I go equated... Check, no, you're, you're, tape, look, now, fact, you're, now your you're guest, not telling the truth. Your guest is the look, one who I took got, your I can words show. and then said, right. he's protecting somebody. Listen, 
He's protecting the trial lawyers. That's who he's protecting. See, you are ridiculous. You're a ridiculous person. Uh, and a journalist? This is disgraceful to say I that, that I describe him as a person, you Bill, are. because no one here, other than Representative Zabo, no one in law enforcement, no one in the justice system in Colorado was supporting this bill. Yeah, and, and the why are they remains, not supporting it? What does Representative Ferrandino's sexuality have to do with passage of Jessica's okay. law? I already explained that to you. If you can't grasp it, I can't help you. You saying that I described him as openly gay, which is true, equates to me calling him a pervert pedophile is a disgrace. It's a disgrace in any column. It's a smear. You're a smear merchant. That's what you do. You can't back it up. Now, do you support no, can, Jessica's law? Up. No, you can't. You can't back it up at all. If you could, you would have put it's it in your vile little column. All you did was make this giant leap. That's your opinion. Fine. And uh, your opinion is your opinion, but you're a smear merchant. That's a smear. That's what you do. Now, do you oppose Jessica's law? Do you oppose it? Bill, the, I don't think the question here is whether or not I no, support no, no. it or No, no, no. That's I the question it. because that's what we are doing in Colorado. Do you, no, as the editorial my page editor my of the Denver Post, about... do you support Jessica's law or not? It's, uh, listen, I don't know enough about you it. You don't know enough not... about it. So you write a column Correct. about our reporting about and Jessica's you don't law, know Bill. enough about it. I wrote about a column it. about your comments on his sexuality. Yeah, his description. I said, described him the way he describes if himself. If you had simply said Democrats in Colorado oppose Jessica's law, here's why, I probably never would have brought it up. Look, but the fact of the matter is, is that you used his sexuality to impugn his character and to imply to your viewers I didn't impugn his character at all. I said what his, his priorities are that, as Speaker of the House. Yeah. Look. I'm going, to post the, I'm going to post this on BillOReilly.com, the whole thing, so people can see what a charlatan you are. You can't win the argument. You don't know what you're talking about, Jessica's Law. You, you run the editorial page on the most powerful paper in the state, and you don't know anything, and all you can do is smear. I know. That's all you no, can do. That's not true, You Bill. don't know As anything about Jessica's earlier, Law. This has been Jessica's in place for five was, years here's, out here's there. Here's what I do know about Jessica's Law. What? No one in law enforcement in Colorado no one? supported it in 2007, no one? 2009, or again this year. Okay. In fact, it's only brought up when the Republicans are in the minority uh, in Colorado, not when they had the majority. It's been used against Democrats as a wedge issue politically. Right, but you don't There's know whether you support it or not. All you know I is that know no one, and believe me, I'll get, I'll get law enforcement from Colorado on here, and I'll make you look foolish on that sure. statement. But you don't even know about it, and you're the editorial director of no. the Denver Post. I do and know you don't what know. I, what well, do I you don't support know, it or Bill. not? Do you support it or not? You have to ask me which version I'm supporting. Which Am version? I supporting the 2007 version? That no, the mandatory 24 to, 25 to life for rapists, child rapists. This year's. I think that we have seen in our judicial system that mandatory sentencing oftentimes has unintended consequences. All right, so you don't Colorado support has, it. Colorado has strong sex offender laws. Yeah. I don't see any got, reason I to change Colorado dozen, sex offender I got laws. a dozen child rapists doing less than five years in your state. Mr. Harvard, maybe and you ought to do a little research about probation, it. Lifetime probation, which is something unique to lifetime Colorado, probation. which I've done research on. Ooh, lifetime probation, lifetime which probation, which means probation if, for rape. You know, if you had a kid and, a, and somebody raped that kid and they got lifetime probation, you'd probably be out there with a gun, Mr. Harvard. That's in addition to their prison sentences bill. Yeah, and the two or three years that they got, the two or three years that they go got, to that's good. There the are soccer 2, coach that raped in prison the kid in and Colorado. got. You just, you just, you just. All right, I'm just going to say it. You need to look up Delbert Wallace Stewart. You need to find out what that man did, what a Colorado judge gave him, and then you need to come back on the show and tell me you don't need Jessica's law. A few feet to the left. But the guy then moves over and blocks Tim shot again. Well, that's a total violation of press freedom. So I had no choice, ladies and gentlemen, but to uphold the Constitution. Hey, stop blocking the shot, pal. You're blocking the shot. No, you're not. You're doing it on purpose. Don't block the shot. Don't block the shot. Got it? Don't block the shot. No, you're not. You're blocking the shot. Get over there. Get him out of there. We have a right to be here to shoot the shot. Son of a That's really low class. 
pal. Really low class, and everybody in the world will see it. Hey, Senator, a word, please. Senator, a word, please. Senator, we came all the way up to see you. Senator, a word. Let me shake your hand. Thank you. Good to see you.